We are so excited to have you both here with us um, in our lecture on the theology of joy with um, adolescents. And I'm really interested, um, you've come to lecture on anxiety. So can you give me a definition of what anxiety is? I mean, people use that term um, anxious and anxiety and sometimes it gets mixed up with depression. Um, so can you just tell us exactly what anxiety is? Well, I think classically anxiety is understood as this sense of uh, dread or angst. That's sort of the, the classical understanding. Sometimes people say anxiety is like worry, but I think I want, would want to distinguish between those and that people who are anxious often worry, but to say that worry exhausts what it, feel, what it means to feel anxious, I think is, um, is incorrect. That anxiety is more of a sort of generalized, sometimes we call it a free-floating sense that uh, something isn't right, that you're dreading something, there's an ox that's sort of pervasive in your life or in your experience. Um, you're on edge, perhaps. Um, you're fearful about what may or may not happen, so you ask a lot of what-if questions. What if this? What if that? Could this happen? Um, so that's one way I would de uh, define it. The, the other is um, fear can be tied to anxiety, but I think mm -hmm. there's also a difference between fear and anxiety. Um, fear is oftentimes thought of in terms of something specific that we can identify that we're afraid of. Mm -hmm. So I'm fearful of snakes or I'm fearful of heights or something like that. Anxiety typically is less definable. Again, it's more of this kind of generalized, less particular kind of um, feeling of angst or, or dread that you, you may be able to identify components of if you work at it, but it tends to be harder to sort of say, uh, that's what I'm anxious about, or that's why I'm anxious, um, as opposed to being fearful seems to, for most people, come a little more easily. Yeah, and I might just add um, that anxiety seems to be one of the hallmarks, like when you look at anxiety, uh, when it becomes severe as a person changes their life based on it. So they start mm -hmm. avoiding things they would otherwise do and enjoy. And so hallmark of when you get into the territory of kind of clinically definable anxiety is that person has given up things they would otherwise love or enjoy because, uh, of, because of anxiety. And, and anxiety then, too, is also classed with a lot of other things that are kind of more specific fears, like for teenagers, like school phobia or mm -hmm. social phobia. Um, and a lot of the, or obsessive compulsive disorder, and a lot of those have to do with the challenges of moving out into the world and mm -hmm. doing like developmentally what you're supposed to do as a teenager um, and those specific anxieties can sometimes be tied to that movement out into the world developmentally. 